It's taken five whole years, but the Nintendo Switch's online finally has something that no other Nintendo console can truly say they've had. That being missions, which will grant you platinum points that you can actually redeem for things on the console. Currently, you can only redeem icons. And this is cool, don't get me wrong, it provides a much cooler layer of customization than the basic Nintendo Switch icons give. However, there is still so much more. These missions could lead to essentially endless possibilities. Almost everything we've wanted from the Switch as an online or just as a system in general could theoretically be added as an incentive to complete these missions. And I think we can all agree that's probably going to be the case. I mean, there's a reason they didn't just name it, you know, new icon customization. They named it rewards, leaving the door open for many other possibilities. And in this video, I want to hit you guys with five of them. The first one I want to talk about is Nintendo Switch themes. This has been something I've literally been asking for since one of the first ever videos on the channel. But I mean, I'm not alone i'm not unique i'm not special everyone has been asking for this it's so weird to have a handheld console that doesn't have themes i mean the 3ds had incredible themes you could not only get different wallpapers but the sound effects and music that played when you opened up your 3ds to be based on the theme how does the nintendo switch not have this i don't know there is no good answer it should have been out already there's been a theme slot on the menu i mean you guys all know this like I, it's just ridiculous but this is the first time that i truly believe we could get themes for the console naturally they would be redeemable with these platinum points which is kind of good because you actually had to pay for them with you know real life money instead of just nintendo bucks back when they were on the 3ds but yeah actual themes not just different colors but like unique wallpapers based on the individual games that have already come out on the switch imagine a mario odyssey wallpaper animal crossing wallpaper doesn't need to stop there splatoon pokemon breath of the wild so many games could have unique wallpapers and it would be a great way to customize our nintendo switches this is the one everyone's going to talk about so i won't you know stay on it for too long but oh my gosh this would just like how is this not cool next thing i want to talk about is dlc now naturally it's not like you'll be able to you know do these weak missions that take maybe two seconds to complete and then suddenly get access to the mario kart 8 deluxe booster pass or you know stuff like that like paid dlc will not be there but i could see them adding in some pretty easy to implement dlc for their newer titles for example splatoon 3 is coming out really soon what if to coincide with i don't know breath of the wild 2 coming out you could get the champion's tunic in splatoon 3 if maybe you play breath of the wild during launch week and and then redeem the you know reward mission or whatever you could get breath of the wild themed clothing in splatoon 2 these in-game rewards would be probably even cooler than themes because themes you only see on the home menu and granted there's something that should have been there already but this would feel like a true addition not something that should have already been there but something to add on and truly make this a new mission structure actually unique actually cool i think that would be unbelievably awesome the third thing i want to talk about is game demos specifically online tests there's two ways this could go so i'll make it quick but we all know nintendo loves to test out the online for their future upcoming titles splatoon 2 got the global splatfest arms got something i forget what it's called like the global test punch was it a that could have actually been it Oh my god, I was right. That was a soul read. And most recently, Wii Sport and uh, nope, Nintendo Switch Sports had a demo as well. What if Nintendo has an upcoming game that they want to test the online for? I mean, again, let's take a look at Splatoon 3 here. And instead of, you know, just making the demo available for everyone, it costs some of those platinum coins, but you could download it after that. It would be a great incentive for people to complete those missions because a lot of people love testing and jumping into these free online demos to help Nintendo gauge how much bandwidth they need or whatever they end up using them for. I don't really know. Additionally, they could do something where the test punches and whatnot are still free to play, but if you, you know, launch them while they're, uh, you know, while they're active, I guess, you get a little bonus, maybe a piece of clothing or a badge or something in the game that you end up playing. Next thing I want to talk about is emotes. Now we're getting into the kind of weird, wacky, yet super interesting realm. What if Nintendo Switch Online games started implementing emotes? What if there was a universalized standard system where in different lobbies for different games, you could use emotes from the Nintendo Nintendo Switch online service. Obviously, Nintendo does not like any sort of chat system where you're able to type whatever you want. And that's fair. I mean, they are a family company. They like to maintain that image, so they don't want people, you know, saying slurs or whatever. And of course, they can implement censor things, but, you know, the creative people of the internet will always find a way to say something hateful. And there's no way they can fully, you know, nix that. Except imagine stamps, kind of more like in the Mario Party Superstars game, but universal, to be used across any Nintendo Switch online game with a lobby function. This would be so cool. You could buy, like, a a Mario Odyssey stamp and then use it as you're waiting to play someone in Wii Sports Nintendo Switch. I'm never gonna get that right. You guys get the point though. I think this would be super super cool. It would add something unique finally to Nintendo Switch Online and it would give people a good incentive to complete these missions. Last but certainly not least, what if entire games were hidden in this thing? Okay, I know that sounds unbelievable, but think about it. Nintendo has done 
weird things like this in the past. Like, remember when they released Jump Rope Challenge? Obviously, that was, you know, during the pandemic, they wanted to help people exercise, but it was this free little super lightweight app on the eShop. I could totally see things like that being hidden as rewards you could download via this mission structure. I was going to say that they could add in NES, SNES, and N64 online games as rewards, but considering the way they already have everything set up, I don't think people would really enjoy that considering, you know, they, they frame those services as kind of an included benefit for when you're paying for the entire Switch Online. So if instead of just paying and then you got the games, now you would have to pay, then complete the mission, then get the games. I don't know how people would like that. I would personally enjoy it because I just love this mission structure. I think any sort of incentive they can give us, you know, the bigger the incentive, the better. But in this scenario, I can understand why people wouldn't like it. I'm going to be honest right now. I think that this mission structure is probably the most exciting thing Nintendo has done to like the base Switch itself since it's come out like ever. I think this is so, so cool. They've already shown that they're going to do more profiles beyond the basic Mario Mario Odyssey and Animal Crossing ones you can get now. I believe we saw Splatoon 2, Breath of the Wild, and Mario Kart 8 uh, icons, which, you know, makes sense as they said they're going to do a different game of the week every, well, every single week. And naturally, some of that will have to be repeated um, because, you know, it's not like they have unlimited games as there are, you know, unlimited weeks. But hey, if they ended up adding in other incentives, that would kind of help them out. And I just think uh, the emote one is so cool. Like having a system wide emote function that was implemented in most Nintendo games and you could, you know, get the emotes through doing missions that would be sick now in that case they'd have to make the missions more interesting like one of the missions this week was literally launch super mario bros on the nes online app like what the hell is that obviously they'd have to do stuff like hey if you want a mario emote uh i don't know beat super mario bros on the nes it would be super easy for them to add in a tracker in that game to literally just say like hey if player reach you know 8-4 and capture peach then check off mission that sort of thing would be super simple for them to do i mean we've already seen them go back in and like tweak with the games a little bit like obviously everyone knows this but the ocarina of time port originally had this weird glitch where like the fog was gone and you could see the water and it looked terrible in one specific temple i think and they went in and patched that completely i think they've gone through and you know patched it a couple of times but now it is completely fixed so they're clearly okay with like going back in and changing stuff so just adding in a couple of lines of code would help and hey i mean they might have already done that because the start mario bros mission is kind of like what i was just saying but chances are that was a uh you know something within the app itself like if they press a on this icon complete mission rather than you know within the game itself where it's like if they i don't know reach 4-2 or whatever complete mission so again i'm not you know i don't work for nintendo i don't know how hard that would be but it seems like this is the direction they're going for with these uh like challenges i guess because there's only so many times you can do like back up your game save data to the cloud or stuff like that like they're gonna have to eventually get unique with these missions at least that's what i think but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i just wanted to get this quick video out because i think this would be so cool if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you're new check out our podcast nintendo tonight we're going to be talking about this update and apparently the switch 2 potentially got leaked by nvidia we're going to be talking about that too in the next episode so make sure to subscribe over there if you're interested in that with that out of the way i'm thomas on the switched up signing off peace